guys, it's Quinn. Welcome to my vlog. So today we are going to be making a childhood favorite, fortune tellers. And it's super easy to make, it's just paper folding. So what you need is a piece of paper and that can be construction paper, it can be origami paper, it can just be plain printer paper like I'm using today. Um, or it can even be like line notebook paper. Um, and then if you're using a rectangular piece of paper, so a sheet of paper, you will need a pair of scissors to cut the paper. Um, or if you're using square paper, like square post-it notes, for example, you don't need scissors at all, just the square piece of paper because square is the size you need to start. So uh, let's get started. So if you're using a full-size piece of paper, a rectangular 8 by 11 letter sheet, um, the first step is to actually get it into a square. So to do that, you're gonna take one corner and you're gonna fold it all the way over until it lines up with the bottom edge. Um, and so you're gonna get a perfect square from this as long as you make sure that that edge is very straight. So you want this edge, um, the two edges of the paper, uh, from one corner to the other to line up. And then once that crease is formed, you're gonna press down on the folded half to get a nice smooth crease. Then you actually need to cut out this excess um, so that you actually have a square. So to do that, I also like to fold it down to get a crease. Again, just making sure that I line up with the edge of the paper where I'm going to crease. Uh, and then I cut from there. Uh, that's what the scissors are for. And you have a nice crease to follow. Um, and having that crease is just going to make it a lot easier for you to keep your lines straight. That way you don't necessarily have um, jagged lines, uh, especially if you're not the most graceful of scissors like that. Uh, and then once you have that all smooth, it's a triangle, you open it up and you'll notice that you have a square. Woo! Um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is fold your square in half in the opposite direction. So just like this. Um, again, matching up all of your corners so that you can form another crease. Uh, and when that's done, you're going to have a nice X going through your paper. Uh, and those creases are going to act as your guides for the rest of the craft. So once you have a nice X formed by creases, you're going to fold each of the four corners into the center um, so that they meet the uh, points where the two lines meet. So they meet that center of the X. And once you have that corner in, you're going to fold the edge uh, flat, uh, and you're going to do this with every single corner, uh, and then you'll actually have another square. And so once you have another square, and you'll notice that you have, there's four uh, corners pointing into the center, you're going to flip that upside down and do the exact same thing again. So again, you just want to fold in each of the four corners into the center. Uh, and you want these to be nice, smooth, crisp folds. So you have these four into the center. Uh, you're going to now fold that in half in one direction. Uh, and you'll notice you have two squares um, with the diagonal line through them. Then you're going to fold it the opposite direction. Uh, again, you want to just form a nice, crisp crease. And then you can stick your thumbs underneath each of those corners, and you'll notice they form flaps. Uh, and you can put your thumb under each and every one, and you'll have a fortune teller. Um, and of course, this is just the blank fortune teller. Um, so the next part is adding all of your numbers and colors, um, and of course, the fortunes. So uh, traditionally, you want each of these uh, corner flaps, so the outmost thing you're going to see, to be a color. And then these half diagonals in the center are going to be numbers. And those numbers don't have to be in any particular order. And then on the inside, in each of these, you're gonna write a fortune. Um, and so for this one, uh, because I am a senior in college and rapidly approaching graduation, I'm gonna go ahead and put careers in. So. The 
then I fold everything back up. a nice fortune teller. One thing I personally like to do just to kind of be uh, less wasteful and to keep my hands busy is I'll actually make fortune tellers out of that remaining uh, rectangle of paper as well. Um, and so it's the same principle where I just fold that triangle and then cut it out. And that's about as far as my folding skills go. Uh, and so now I can make four more smaller fortune tellers just following those exact same steps. And there you have it, fortune tellers. So uh, I hope you try this out and have fun making fortune tellers both large and small. <laughs> Thanks for watching.